the kind of gods. So, I just woke up and I felt the desire to make this video. A lot of people are losing their jobs, people are getting pay cuts, people are getting laid off. A lot of people don't know how they're going to make rent anymore or feed their families or whatever else they have to pay bills for. And I feel like what people are calling lockdowns right now is literally how I have lived my life for the last five years. In fact, I think I may have developed an allergy to the sun. Don't ask me how. Wow! So I want to share with you three ways that you can make money while you're staying indoors throughout this lockdown. You absolutely don't have to do this. It's totally fine to take a downtime and just continue to relax. That is okay. But if you have bills to pay and you're panicking or you're just worried about money, this could really, really help you make some money and get some money in the bank while you, you know, relax at home or whatever. Now, let me note these three ways that I'm about to share with you are ways that do not require any capital. I know there's like a hundred thousand ways that you can make money on the internet, but these are the only three ways that I know particularly that don't exactly require any money or upfront investment from you. You can literally decide you want to do them today and tomorrow you're up and running. And the first thing is freelancing. That is using freelancer platforms like Upwork or freelancer.com to make some money. You don't need to be the smartest tool in the book to actually make money as a freelancer. People are literally willing to pay you for the most ridiculous things. For example, I've had a bunch of people pay me thousands of dollars to simply watch their courses that they made for other people and give them my opinion or make a testimonial video about the course and share what I thought about it. Think about that for a second. You don't have to be that smart or know anything about anything to be able to watch a video and talk about what you learned from the video. Literally it doesn't even have to be anything you're interested in. So you're going to get a course for free, you're going to be learning something, you're going to be getting paid to learn something and then you're going to be sharing your opinion. Seems like a win-win to me. But of course that's not the only thing you can do on freelancer websites. If you were a writer and you lost your job or your job is on old for now. If you were a designer, if you were a video maker, if you were a product reviewer, whatever it is, you can find jobs on freelancer websites and there are jobs every single second on a site like Upwork for example. I don't freelance a lot anymore but that's a very very good way to make some money. You can even be a virtual assistant. Think about the fact that you could manage YouTube channels for other people or you could take phone calls for people or you could blog or you could... I don't know, manage social media accounts for other people if what you're really good at is Instagram. This is literally money everywhere that you look, you just have to know where to look. Now, I'm not going to pretend it's going to be easy to start out as a freelancer because at the beginning people may not hire you. If you're watching this and you're black or you're Nigerian, there's a very good chance a lot of people won't hire you based on that fact alone. So it's important for you to build up a reputation as somebody who is dependable and can be trusted. So get as many reviews as as you can quickly, do the small jobs, get small hard monies and before you know it, you're cashing out thousands of dollars from repeat clients every single week. It's literally that simple. The second thing is Amazon. Amazon, Amazon affiliates, whatever you want to call it. You can make money by people clicking links in your videos or your blog posts for selling products after them, you get a commission and there's actually other ways that you can also make money on Amazon. For example, on Amazon, a lot of people who produce stuff or wholesalers are looking for people to review their products and give them product reviews so that other people can find these reviews and buy those products if the products are good. So my advice with Amazon is always stick to product categories that you actually know, things that you actually enjoy. Me, for example, what I love the most is headphones, earbuds, microphones, audio equipment and yada yada yada. I basically focus on what I know and I review a bunch of that. And basically because of that, other headphone companies see my reviews about other headphones and they basically reach out to me and send me a bunch of free products that I can then review and share my opinions about and if I like them, I make these videos, I share it with my audience, I get a bunch of sales and I get a bunch of commission from that. Sounds pretty straightforward to me. The only thing that you need is your face and your reputation and you have to be as honest as possible. So don't make reviews lying to people just because you want to make some money. That's dishonest and that's definitely going to come back and bite you in your ass after a while. Because most people know when you're lying and if you lie a bunch of times, they're basically going to stop trusting you and nobody's going to buy anything that you recommend. And the final thing that I'd like to share that you could do as a business during this quarantine period is sell the products that you got from step two. So so basically, it makes no sense for one person to own 100 headphones. I think last year, I probably got more than 150 headphones from different companies. I mean, 
I cannot, like it makes absolutely no sense for me to think that I can use 150 headphones. What I could do however is pick two or three that I really like and keep those and everything else I can completely sell them. So you can sell stuff on eBay, you can sell stuff on Gigi if you're in Africa, you can use OLX if that still exists. You can literally sell stuff on Craigslist, you can sell stuff anywhere and everywhere. It's very easy and it's very straightforward. So all you have to do is get products for free, review those products, make money off of that and then sell off the products that you don't want to keep. That seems straightforward enough. In fact, you would think everybody would know this, but apparently they don't. Here's a scary thought. I live in Nigeria and less than 20,000 people have been tested. More than 10% of those people that have been tested have come back positive. And that is less than 20,000 tested in a population of over 200 million people. Oh my days. And in exactly 24 hours, the government is relaxing the lockdowns and some people are going to be able to go back to work and go back to their daily lives. Think about that. Testing has just started ramping up and the number of cases that have been discovered every day have increased. They've more than doubled. So how exactly does this make sense? It's crazy and it's scary. So if you have the option of staying indoors, please continue to stay indoors and protect yourself and protect your family. Stay safe, continue to wash your hands. I hope this video was helpful. Like I said, there's probably a hundred thousand ways that you can make money. But the three ways that I recommend that you can start right now without any capital are freelancing, basically Upwork, Freelancer or Fiverr, stuff like that. Amazon, Amazon affiliates and reviewing products and then turning around to sell those products. It's literally the fastest way that you can start making money today. You can send emails and reach out to a bunch of companies that give out products for free for testing and you can get those products in, review them, give your opinions and then you can sell them off if you don't want them anymore. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on another video that was shot by Kagan. You better subscribe because this information is not free. You have to subscribe. Thank you.